Speaking of friends, everybody, speaking of friends, who here has a best friend? Anybody? Okay, all right. Think, think about the joy uh, that that best friend brings to you. All right, and multiply that by like 100. And that represents our next two performers that are coming up. So please, everybody, put your hands together for the best friends, Chris and Jared. <laughs> This guy right here. Yeah. This guy right there. So thank you. Can you know that was? Yeah. 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 So, a little bit of backstory about the two of us. Well, we actually met in level one. We did. Here at Pig. A couple of years ago. Yeah. And Jimmy was absolutely right. Doing uh, improv here at Pig is the best way to make new friends. It really we've is. We've been friends right off the bat. And we've been friends ever since. And yeah. now we're best friends. Best friends. For life. Forever. Yeah. Till the day we die. So we heard you guys were doing a showcase today, and we figured we would come on and do a little something extra for you guys. We do a show where we like to promote the benefits of friendship and positivity in your in your comedy and in your yes. improv. So we're going to do a set for you guys today. And you might be wondering about the outfits. Well. They're not just stylish, they're also functional. They are. Yeah. Because after the show tonight, Chris and I... Slumber Party! Yeah. Woo! Got the movies, he's got the popcorn. We're gonna do it upright. We're not gonna sleep. Scary movie night tonight. But not too scary. I'll be there if you get too scared, buddy. Aww. So we're gonna kick off this friendship fest right. I just wanna point out, I'm Jared. Oh, and I'm Chris. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, together we are Jared, Jared and Chris. Chris. Yeah. I guess we don't really put anybody first. No, we? no. Yeah. Chris Aaron. Yes. That's our important name. Yeah. Anyway, so to get started for you guys, we're going to need a word from the audience, and we figured based on our plans for later, what's a, what's a word that best uh, comes to your mind when you think of friendship? French. Okay. <laughs> Odd choice, but you know what? I feel like we can work with that. Okay. I think so, too. You know... Uh, it's actually funny because I'm not going to go the obvious route on this one, but you know when you used to do that thing where you would take Diet Coke and you would put the Mento in the neck of the bottle and it would spray, yes. right? So one day we were just dicking around and hanging out, pounding around like we usually do. I got a couple of bottles of, of Coke. We're going to try and make some cheesy YouTube videos, like try to get, you know, some, circulate some of the... Viral! Exactly. Go viral. Viral, right? viral. So I line up about like four of these things, duct tape them together, and we have it timed out perfectly so that we can drop them each in at the exact same time. We take probably like 20, 30 minutes to set the whole thing up. We planned it out. Camera in position, do the whole thing, right? Mm -hmm. Now, it didn't go the way we thought it was going to go, okay? I dropped my two the same way that we were going to do it. Timing was a little bit off, but you know what? Sprayed everywhere. Most of it got on me. It did. You know, it was like one of those things where like we'd maybe just, you know, participate a little bit better, paid a little bit more attention, we'd be great. But you know what? The point is we still had fun. Yeah. You know, it was, it was, it was just... Because when you're doing a fun thing as friends, and we've all got our friends we do fun things with, the important thing is to have fun, exactly. right? Exactly. It's not to sit there and bind yourself so tightly by the rules that... <laughs> You can't really focus on loosening up and enjoying well, I mean, yourself. structure is important, Jared. You know, you want to make sure yeah. that you know, we, have a, we have a plan. We formulate a plan and idea. And, you know, we worked really hard on this thing that we wanted to work well. We only had one shot at it. So, I mean, it was good. It was fun. Yeah. You know. Yeah, and, and you know, and another important part of friendship is not taking little things too seriously. Because it would have been easy just to go out and get a few, how much is a few bottles of Diet Coke and Mentos. Yeah, five bucks, something like that. Nothing worth getting, like, all oh, angry and bent out of shape. <laughs> no, nobody's getting angry and bent out of shape, buddy. I mean, it's totally cool. But, you know, when you figure, like, you know, I went out, I got the Diet Cokes, got the Mentos and everything, paid for the whole thing, and then just, like, yeah. got the duct tape, and then, you know, it was kind of, like, just, like, a fun little thing it for was. us to, like, go yeah. out and have, like, a little, like, ah, I'm going to make a YouTube video, and then, like, you know, and then, like, after, you know, 30 minutes in, the whole thing kind of got a little screwed. But that's not... I, I would have been more than happy to go out and spend five whole dollars on more Diet Cokes and Mentos. I mean, you seem to be really pushing the point. <laughs> I went out. No, you know, you know, you're not going to do that. We're going to do some scenes for you. Guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> Just got back from Mr. Anderson's classroom. We got an A plus on the science experiment. We did it! Dude, seriously, I didn't know that you could make a potato grow that big by suspending it in a jar of water with a lamp on it. Prove him wrong! Yes! 
Oh, so, I, I had a gut feeling on that one, too. I had a gut feeling when we looked at that potato, and we looked at that lamp, and those toothpicks, and that bottle, bottle of water. I just and looked right into its eyes, and I was like, we have a winner. We do. You know? We do. And it was just, oh, man. So, yeah. anyways, so, Mr. Anderson says, because we got the A-plus on the science experiment, not only did we, we ribboned in the science fair, but this gets our grades high enough, we get to go on that academic class trip oh! this summer, okay, to imitation space camp. That is almost real space camp! It's like space camp, but slightly less space camp. Yes! It, oh! You know? Because real space camp wouldn't have been that good anyways. No, totally. It's, it's, just, it, it's the sellout. It sets the pressure too camp. high. You right. Know? But, oh, man, it's going to be the best summer ever, dude. It is. We're going to have such a good time. We're going to be able to go there and just... Learn about, like, astrophysics and space and spaceships! I already started packing, okay? And I, here's what I think. I have a really good plan. If, if I pack my bag and I just pack, like, extra clothes and everything like that, because you only need to take one bag, so my bag will have all the clothing and everything, and then your bag, snacks. Like, snacks on snacks on snacks. <laughs> like, just, like, pack it with all the, the crap that we can't eat when we're home, and then we can just, like, pig out, and we can just, like, have, like, a wild time at in, 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 imitation space. Yeah, time. yeah! I mean, it, we will have so much much fun, you know? I don't think we need to plan out our suitcase packing so much. No, 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 it's gonna be great. I have the whole thing layered out. Like, I have compartments already pre-labeled, and I'm gonna put, like, so many socks, you know, like, you roll your socks up so that they fit, they fit better, like, they take less space. Like, three shirts, like, two for every day, you can turn them inside out, we can get away with getting, getting away with a little bit less. I mean, I, you, you're right, we should, you know, be well planned with clothes, but I don't think we need to, like, go that in depth and how we roll our socks or anything. I think we just relax and... And go out, because this is about what? This is about having some fun. fun. It's having fun inside. But if you want the people at Imitation Space Camp to take you imitation seriously, you need to plan. <laughs> Structure is important. Oh, you know what? I think when, they're, that when we're there, they're going to have things already well structured out for us where it's not going to be a big deal. It's not like, not like they're going to be looking in our suitcases and being like, oh, look how good your socks and shirt. Snacks in this one? Brilliant. <laughs> I, I think it is brilliant. I'm just saying. No, 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 no. It's a great idea. I don't think they're going to care that much. I mean, who would care? It, let's face it. If it's not right, we could just repack it at some point on the trip. Well, well, you only get like one shot at a good bag. You know what I mean? Like, how, how are you yeah. going to, like, on the way down, you ask the bus driver to pull over and then be like, hey, like, oh, like, let me get another pair of socks, or like, oh, I forgot I needed underwear, so I guess I'll just Ooh. not have that for the week. You're right, you bring a good point. There is no way in heck we could ever do something as strenuous as repacking two bags on an eight-hour bus trip. That would throw everything off. Well, maybe you don't have to worry about it, because I'll probably just wind up buying all the clothes anyways, and then you don't have to worry about doing a damn thing. You can just show up and screw up the whole plan like you always do. <laughs> Screw up the plan? Yeah. I think bringing the spirit of joy into the plan is How much important. to put two goddamn Mentos in the neck of a bottle of Diet Coke oh. at the same time. Who has a stopwatch for dropping Mentos A scientist! Time? That's who! Nobody has stopwatches anymore! Nobody! Okay. You! Guys at track, they have stopwatches. Train conductors have stopwatches. And you know what they all have in common? They're goddamn professionals, Jared. Okay, and people take them seriously when they do their craft. We are not going to do this. We're right. not, not going to do this right, right now. <laughs> oh man, I mean, you say you're going to do it for so long, and then, and it finally happens, and you just, you just want to take it all in, you know. First time, Eurail, you know, seeing, seeing the continental Europe by train. This was, this is the, the trip of a lifetime. Honey, I know we wanted this for our honeymoon, and we said we were going to wait until it was a better time, and I really do think five years was the right time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we had time to save up, we had time to make sure get everything set at home. I mean, how fun would it have been to spontaneously. <laughs> <laughs> not, not fun at all. Ooh, look, a Swedish cow. Woo! I bet when it moves, it's got the little, oh, little line. Woo! 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 Woo!
So, <laughs> so we're, we're going to leave Sweden today. We'll be in Denmark by the end of the night. And then I figure we'll go to Copenhagen for three nights. We can see yeah. some artwork. The daffodils might be in bloom. Oh! Uh, the Cop those Danish daffodils. The best? They're the best daffodils in the world. And then maybe we could splurge. We'll get some Danishes. <laughs> uh, Danishes in Denmark? I know, I'm bad. I know. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was worth that five year wait. <laughs> Well, you know what they say, timing is everything. Yes. You know, you can't, can't do things at the wrong time. You have to wait till the time is just right, and then you do it. And that feels so much better. You yes. Know? You know, all that waiting just built up the anticipation. Just, I'm, I'm just glad nothing happened to throw the timing off. Yeah. Yeah. Because you know? I think this would have been a disaster. It would have been just like this anticipation of this wonderful, beautiful thing, this, this eruption of our love, and, and, and spontaneously, you know, we wouldn't have been able to do it as well, you know. And I don't want to make it sound like I'm... I was happy to, to do the trip and get the tickets. And, and thank you. Thank you for that. You've mentioned it multiple times. Well, I'm, just, I'm just so excited to be on this trip with you. I'm just yeah. glad I get to thank you over and over. <laughs> I appreciate that. Oh, that's good. That's good, yeah. Because you're right. This, this wouldn't have been enjoyable in the least if we were just flying on the seat of our pants through Europe, just making decisions and, and responding and reacting to things as they come. Yeah, I mean, laughing when we want to laugh, loving when we want to love, <laughs> eating when we want to eat, drinking when we want to drink, going to the bathroom, <laughs> just whenever we've got to go to the bathroom. Getting covered in sticky diet cola, even though yeah. we were wearing a nice shirt that day because we thought we were going to be YouTube famous. <laughs> Yeah, because it's not weird at all for somebody to plan out their YouTube fame with Diet Coke and Mentos by buying a really nice expensive shirt. It was a trend, it was popular, it was getting lots of clicks, and I wanted to look my best. I, sorry, I don't have the ability to just go out in front of people and look like a slob. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> just said it. This honeymoon is not as much fun anymore as it was like two minutes ago. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry. I didn't think we were doing the scene anymore. I was calling you an asshole. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. I get, you must have had that time regimented to stop being a mediocre improviser and start being a bad improviser. I'm just not surprised because you've, you've always had bad timing, so I'm not surprised that you stick up all of So nobody could hear you over the laughter of my. <laughs> Not doing this. <laughs> Dad! Dad! I drew a bunch of pictures at school. Can I show you? Oh my god, of course you can. Dad. Sport. Oh. It's pictures of us, Dad. Oh my god. This is me, and this is you, and you're riding a Tyrannosaurus. Oh, you have such a creative imagination, slugger. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Dad, fishing. I love fishing with you, Dad. Oh, I love fishing too. You know the best part about fishing? The patience, the timing. You know, you don't go out there expecting to do it all just at once. You enjoy yourself. You, know, you take your time. You wait. Yeah, there's nothing a seven-year-old like me loves more than patience, Dad. <laughs> oh, oh, here's one of me and you. See, it, it's multi-pane like a comic book. Here, I'm laughing. Oh, there you're looking at your watch and you're pointing at me. Oh, there I'm crying. Oh, and in this one, the rest of the world is crying. <laughs> uh, son, I see what you did here, but I'm a little bit confused because down here at the bottom, you have, you have a clock, but all the numbers are wrong. Your threes are backwards, and, and it looks like you don't really know how a clock works. Son, oh. have they been teaching you well enough at school? Because I feel like... You're just not getting some of the basics. Right here you can see the stick, Dad. It's right up your ass. <laughs> Ooh, I drew a thick stick there, too. <laughs> you can't see because it's, it's kind of blocked out by you, but it's way, way up there. Way up there. <laughs> this one should go on the fridge. 
think that one should go up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I, I'm sorry, I'm at a loss for words right now, okay? You ruined my one shot at fame, okay? <laughs> you blame me for caring too much. All caring right? too much? Yes, caring too much, Jared! You, all you care about is telling me everything you've done to lead up to, to something that was supposed to be fun. Every, the slump, the slumber party, Chris! Oh, I got the popcorn and I got these movies right here. You went to a red box. Nobody goes to red box. Yes, I went to a red box. I paid for the popcorn, okay? You I know. Paid you at my house, all right? You told everybody in here you paid for the popcorn. And everybody remembers. You, we can ask anybody in here. That's not the point, okay? The point is I try to have a good time all the time, and then you always just come in and... Swoop in and fuck it up with your douchebaggery, okay? <laughs> You're like a fucking hurricane of nonsense. You know? I tried, I tried, and I tried, and yet you can't manage to stand still for two seconds without fucking up all of our plans. You know what? You're right. Maybe, maybe there's an important lesson that I, I should learn here. And I think the lesson is, when you have a friend, who has a stick shoved so far up their ass that nothing you can do with them is fun and enjoyable. Nothing! And you probably tell me, oh, Jared, I bought the stick! I paid the money for the stick! I'm seriously gonna go right now and I'm gonna spray Diet Coke all over the inside of your fucking car. Oh, I'm going. You know, you better not. Yeah. That's it. I'm done. I can even tell you when I was going to do it, and you'd still show up at the wrong time. Oh! oh. <laughs> no, sorry, that's our show. That's Fuck our you. show. <laughs> Chris and Jared. Jared and Chris. Isn't friendship great? <laughs>